Falling in love can be a wonderful experience. Spending time with that person can feel even better. But what happens when you can't bring yourself to spend a waking moment without them? In a Nicholas Sparks romance novel, this might be the ideal partner, but not in real life. In real life relationships, we can create insecure attachments. Defined by the APA Dictionary of Psychology, Insecure attachments are patterns of a generally negative parent-child relationship, which show the child's lack of confidence and or affection towards their parents. Even though it may feel good in the moment, being too attached to your partner is one of these insecure attachments, which can lead to major problems in the relationship. Let's jump into some signs that you're getting too attached to someone. Two is better than one. How do you feel when your friend or partner isn't around all the time? Do you feel a deep sadness or maybe a growing anger when you can't be around them? This intense discomfort can be a sign of you getting too attached. Think about Bonnie Gilbert's mother and what's eating Gilbert grape. She is too attached to Gilbert to the point where she doesn't let him do anything without her. According to Talkspace, codependency happens when you need the person with you in order to be content. When they're not by your side, you feel unhappy and unfulfilled. But with interdependence, your friend or partner adds great value to your life and you like being with them. At the same time, you can also get by just fine if you're not with them 24 seven. Basically, interdependence is a balance between total dependence and total independence. Michael and Jacob are best friends. They share their deepest secrets with one another and hang out almost every day. But there's a huge difference between their attachment styles. When Michael isn't around Jacob, he is constantly sad and feels like he can't enjoy anything on his own. Jacob, on the other hand, feels fine when he's not with Michael. He has a great time when he hangs out with Michael, but he's still able to have fun when he's on his own or hanging out with other people. Can you guess who is codependent and who is interdependent? That's right, Michael is codependent and Jacob is interdependent. Zero to 100 in 0.5 seconds. Okay, we all know you've scrolled through petty TikTok. Yeah, it's pretty entertaining to watch the creative ways people get their dose of petty revenge, but is this the healthiest reaction to conflict? How you react when you get into an argument with someone can be an indicator of how attached you are to them. According to a 2015 study published in Frontiers in Psychology, if you are overly attached to someone to the point where you feel anxious, you may have intense negative reactions when there's a conflict in your relationship. Now, this isn't just getting angry when someone is mad at you. An example would be someone getting mad at you and you immediately assuming that they're rejecting you or don't like you anymore. If you notice this pattern of behaviors with the person you're thinking of, this could be a sign that you're getting too attached to them. Monkey see, monkey be you. It's natural to gravitate towards people who show the same interests as you, but if you find yourself changing your behaviors and interests to match somebody else's whenever you're around them, this could be an indicator that you're starting to get too attached to them. According to licensed therapist, Sasha Jackson, being overly attached can cause us to lose sight of our individuality and who we are. Rather than seeing yourself as your own person, your self-image changes and you can only view yourself within the context of the relationship. Outside of that, you may not know who you are or feel as if you're nothing. If you find yourself feeling this way, remember that you are awesome just as you are. You are enough and you don't need anyone else to complete you. Taking time to explore your own individual interests and hobbies outside of your friendship or relationship can help you find yourself again. If it helps, please reach out to a mental health provider to help create healthy attachments again. If you think you're getting too attached to someone after watching this video, don't feel down about it. Now you can be more aware of these signs moving forward and take steps to make your relationship more healthy and fulfilling for you. Are there any others that we didn't mention? Share in the comments below. If you learned something new in this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.